Hi there, how's it go away a minute? I don't do these videos like this. There we go, that's better. Also, what I've got on right now is a fan. I'm not too sure if you can hear that. I'll just shut up for a second to see if you can. There we go, that's off. Bit of a difference, maybe, maybe not. Either way, we're going to be visiting this place that I'm not too sure you've heard of before, but hopefully you have. Italy. And this place in Italy right there. So that right there is the name of it. Salvaterra, Salvaterra, Salv... Not too sure how you pronounce it, but that is it. Uh, it's a small little place. And as you can see, what we have here is a stream. I think this is supposed, maybe a river, uh, a small river. How is that source of water being built up? Is it a reservoir? Probably, maybe. But uh, the water goes all the way from here, down here, trickles down past these other villages. It's cool how villages are always by the rivers. Sometimes it's cool anyway. Other times the river overflows and the villages flood. That's when it's not cool. Um, anyway, the water seems to go down here and uh, not too sure where it's going to end up, but it ends up somewhere else. Actually, seeing as though these are mountains, the water's coming from up here and going the opposite direction. Either way, we're going to visit this place right there. So uh, we're going to start off where this pinpoint thing is. Wow, this guy's changed. I didn't even notice that. Catch Carmen San Diego. What the hell? Yeah, let's maybe not do this. I don't really care for that. Right, there we go. This is a normal dude. Golden boy. Right, so Alimentari. That is uh, the Italian version of Alibaba. Let's begin our tour of this place. Here we have a mini roundabout. I would probably go straight over that, completely disregard it. Right, so which direction should we head in? We've got to try to stay in this um, this border right here. You see the red? We've got to stay in between that. If we go down this way, then we've got to turn around. If we head down this way, then there's a bit more to see. And if we head down this way, there's even more to see. But either way, it's a very small place, as you can see. So yeah, let's just begin. All right, so first of all, they have these very fashionable wooden windows. They're not actually windows. Windows are behind these. These are just shutters. So, you know, like when it, when, I don't know, maybe hailstones, hailstorm, those are becoming a little more common these days. If one was to happen over here, they could just shut these and protect the windows. I've not really seen these wooden shutters before. There's a couple of houses around here that have them, but they're not very popular and they are going away pretty fast. Right, so anyway, let's head down this way then. Past the local Alibaba store. Ali, what was it again? Past the local Alimentari store. Here we have more shutters on the windows. Wow, are those windows? They almost look like sliding doors. Either way, he's gonna need some pretty big shutters for those. So far, besides the, um, the amount of shutters on these houses, it sort of looks like the UK, where I am. England, jolly old England, uh, miserable old England. Oh yeah, talking about rain, well, let's check out the weather. Holy shizzle, my nizzle, this is what the temperature is right here, 31 degrees C. Nice, looks, um, looks like a place you might want to visit on holiday. Um, Fahrenheit, that is 88. Very good, Electro. So I'm guessing this guy runs an electronics shop. What does that say? Impianti Electrici. Yeah, so some sort of an electronic shop. That is just a guess, an uneducated guess. It's kind of cool looking at this right now because you see how sunny it is in this area right now. Well, it's like this outside where I am. So it's kind of like the sunlight is coming in from outside into here. I mean, it is summertime, so it is uh, supposed to happen, but it's been raining for quite some time. Anyway, Seems like a very chill place. I wonder if they have any um, snakes around here. I hear that there are snakes in Italy, some of which are poisonous. So if you're in, say, I don't know, maybe, um, maybe like inside an area like this, you might not want to be in there. Wow, check out the house. Shutters, shutters. I wonder how good these are at keeping people out. Can't quite see the locks on them, but they will be on the inside. Pretty sure that's a safe assumption to make. Ah, Italian flags. Whoever recommended this place to visit, you live in a very nice place. That's a very funny looking Italian car, kinda looks like a Mercedes CLS from the back, but a little squashed. 
kind of like a one of these. Do you see what I mean? You see? Do you see? Good. Okay, so let's uh, keep moving. I like how some of these houses are still sort of old, like this, and sort of run down looking, because the rest of them are a little modern, and it adds a bit of variety. This one, for example, I mean, you know, people are still living in there, but it's isn't it's not the best looking on the outside. That's a tree, and as you can see, this one right here has been it's been resurfaced and stuff, made to look a little more modern, which is cool too. And here we have another country home, quite a big one, and every single possible entry point to the house has a shutter. Even this has got a uh, big door covering it. I wonder if they originally intended on putting windows at the top too. That would be a few too many shutters for my liking. Right, so I think we might be at the end of the um, the border right here, the area in which we're supposed to stay. And this is where we are, around there somewhere. All right, so we can go right towards the um, riverbed. All right, so this guy's got some sort of a, uh, a vineyard. I think it looks like grape plants. Yes, grape plants. Don't ask me how I know what grape plants look like. Okay, I'll be honest, it was a guess, because, I mean, we're in Italy. So, as you can tell, this person's obviously earning quite a bit from the vineyard. As you can see, his house, or her house, is quite a nice house. Unless it's actually a business building, which I think it might be. Right, so we can't seem to go any further, so let's just zoom out and see what this is. Ah, it's a road. We can jump over that, can't we? Yes, we can. Alright, let's go over to there. Here we have another house. That chimney there seems to be in use quite often. Yeah, somebody I know was saying there's a lot of poisonous snakes. Not a lot, but like there are poisonous snakes in the shrubbery and stuff, so you got to be aware of it. And uh, if you're clearing out any, any bushes and things, you might want to get somebody else that knows how to do all that in that type of area to do it. Because you could get bitten and um, that will be the end of you. I was thinking of getting a pet snake. What do you think? Should I get a pet snake? I don't think I get a poisonous one. Uh, I hear that their fangs are quite like needles, so when they bite you, you don't quite feel it until afterwards. Something like that. So I don't really mind, as long as I don't get bitten in the face or something like that. Although you don't see my face, so that doesn't really matter. But yeah, how about a snake? Maybe uh, a cobra or something else that might kill me. Either way, this right here is right on the edge. The riverbed is probably around there somewhere. These places are usually right on the edge of civilization. Okay, so now what I'll do is I'll just zoom down to a random street and let's just go through this street. We'll head up that way and we'll have a look and see where it says on these posters. I grandi del something something. Sumer Cartobilandia. Is that how you pronounce it? Probably not. Let's have a look at the cars. That is an Opel, Peugeot, Mercedes, Opel, Toyota. Not too sure. I do like the vibe of this place. It seems to be quite nice. Um, or maybe it's just the sunshine pouring in through my window. And right here, what we have is a place for the ladies, I'm guessing, judging by the posters on the windows and stuff. Weirdly enough, there's no name on the front of the place, and I'm assuming that's a lady, but it kind of looks like a dude. So maybe it's a mixture of both. For males and females, and anything in between. <clears throat> Even though there's only two genders. What was that? Who said that? Pancake? Did you say that? I think that might have been Peanut. There's really not a lot going on. There's not a lot of people on the street either, which is strange. Let's jump over to the other side. All right, so there might be some people on the street around here. Uh, there's people in cars and stuff, but yeah, not really much going on. And here we have a Porsche. 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 However you want to pronounce that is fine by me because I can't hear you. There's a lot of these buildings with flat roofs, so I'm guessing you could probably get on top of those and sunbathe. I'm assuming that's got a flat roof. Kind of looks like it has. No, it hasn't. N how? What? How do you pronounce that? N -ioti. N or maybe it's North Eoti. Ioti, Lotti, Scuola, Scuola Elementare. Scuola, oh, scu elementary school. Hmm, figured that out for myself. And here we have another Italian flag. This guy is dedicated to his Italianness. 
So that's that's good for him. I'm assuming because he lives next to this footpath right here where people walk, he's uh, he's trying to show everybody this is what the flag looks like. So if you're walking down this footpath, which is in between these houses, and for some reason you've forgotten where you are, when you get to around here, you'll look up to the left and you'll see that flag and you'll be like, oh shit, I'm in Italy. Then you'll text your friends and your family and tell them too. So uh, that is the benefit of actually having your flag out. Ah, and here we have another Mercedes CLS. Clearly, it's been affected by the Fukushima radiation and it's had a bit of a mutation. So uh, that's nice. From this angle, it sort of looks a little more normal until you get to around here and then you see that and you're like, whoa, wait a minute. Ah, and there's another one. Ah, first person we've seen and she's on a bike. It's an old lady riding around. I know she's probably doing wheelies when nobody's looking. She can't fool me. And here we have one of these yellow vehicles. I recognize this. I've seen one of these. I've seen one of these and a blue one uh, where I am. Now, unfortunately, we can't see that properly, but I think it is what I think it is. But I'm not sure, but I think it is. What is all this in the back of this guy's garden? We've got people in the garden living in tents. Hmm. Interesting. Wow, they've named this street after a Ninja Turtle. Donatello. It's a very lovely place. I would like to visit one day, but I'm not too sure if I will. Either way, I have the computer and the Google map and I can visit anytime I want to. Botticelli. That's kind of cool. It reminds me of old school shops. I'm pretty sure it can be wound back towards the wall, but if it can't, that must look absolutely mental when it's windy. Right, so where are we on the map? Let's have a look. Are we at the end? We're close to it. It's a little more cloudier in this area. Wait a minute, which direction was I facing? Not too sure. Let's just, let's just keep moving. 70 miles an hour. Or is it probably KMH? Not too sure. Might be KMH. Let's just pretend it's miles an hour. 70 miles an hour. Wow, that's pretty fast for a street like this. I'm guessing it's probably KMH. That's cool. That kind of reminds me of Peanut when he doesn't get food when he wants it. Shall we? Let's see if there's any blue dots, because blue dots can also be interesting. Click on that, and are there any blue dots in this area? No, but there is this. What is that? Is that a park? It is. I think it is. I'm not too sure. I think it is. Yeah. It is a yawn fest. And here we have a football field. And to you, Americans, this is a soccer field. Um, football is actually what it's called because the ball is kicked around with your feet. You guys play handball. We call that rugby. Hope you're not offended by that. If you are, then you are a meow. Right. Left. All right, so we've got a bunch of blue dots right here. This could be pretty much anything. Uh, let's have a look and see what it could be, what it is. No street view data is available here. What are you talking about? I'm going to hazard a guess and say it's just... It's, um... Apartments or office blocks. Ah, there's a blue dot there. Let's see if that one works. That one works! I am shocked. Collapse. I almost did collapse! Right, so this has been taken by a drone. That or a very tall person. And uh, the water looks clearer than I thought it would. It looks bluer than I thought it would. Maybe it's a boost in saturation. Maybe the water is sort of blue and it's not quite clear, but it is blue. Interesting. Right, let's see if there's any more blue dots. And is this a blue dot that's going to let us see what's inside this shop? It is. Right, let's see what they've got going on, because I'm kind of hungry. And uh, it doesn't look like they've got anything in stock. My living room walls used to be this red color. One of the walls, anyway, used to be like this. This red, exactly this red. And I painted over that with white. I'm not really a fan of white walls. Never really have been. But that is what I did. Looks like a very nice place, though. And uh, the red sort of suits this place. Uh, doesn't suit my living room, though. Let's have a look at this one. Hopefully it's not an elementary school or something. Commute... Not sure what that is. Let's just... Uh, oh, there's one here, too. And there's some of these there. I didn't even see those. Let's maybe check this one out instead. Could you move any slower? Ah, right. Okay, this is even better. This is good. This is what I wanted. 
Right, so this is some sort of a cake shop, maybe, or confectionery shop. Um, let's have a look. Let's see what they've got here. Um, cannot read any of that, as expected. Either way, I know what food looks like, so let's check out the food. Uh, this one looks good. Guessing that strawberry on top. I like how the refrigerator is open, bright, and clean, and clear. Maybe some of these are cheesecakes. These look good. They look like um, cornettos. Let's see what we can have. All right, so we can't quite see into this one on the end. Not much of a problem. I will take maybe a slice of this one down here. Not too sure what that is. And this one. And is this maybe cheesecake or something? Maybe a bit of this. I'll take one of these for sure. And mm, not too sure what that is, but I'll take a bit of that. Yes, to this. Mm, I'll skip this one because that looks like it's mostly icing or whatever that is. I'll take some of that. I think I might have said that already. I'll take this one too, just in case it's different. And uh, I'll take a slice from here, preferably the slice with this on the end of it. Um, I'd have to have a closer examination of these, but maybe I'll take one of these ones. And this right here, what I'll do is I'll take half of that, please. Thanks. Move forward a little bit. Let's see what else we can see. Yeah, I'll take a bit of that. And maybe a bit of this. Sounds good to me. Ooh, cactus. Take one of these too. Not too sure about the kids being on the wall, but okay. I'm guessing it's the owner's kids. Wow, is that three euros fifty? Nice. I'm glad I got to see that. That has made my day. Right, so this one right here is going to be the last one. Hopefully it's a good one. What? All right, so apparently this part of Italy goes through extremes of weather. As you can see, it's not snowed like this where I am for quite some time. But as you can see, they also get snow. So this has been a fun tour. I shall catch you in the next one.